Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And we're going to do a flip through of my coloring pages for September. Uh, what I do each month is pick four coloring books that I'm going to work on for the month. And uh, then each one has a different kind of coloring. One might be intricate that I'm going to use gel pens or ballpoint pens for. Uh, one might be one I'm going to watercolor in. Uh, one might be kind of uh, larger things that I don't have to think about too much. So anyways, uh, that's how I do it and uh, for October I will be picking four uh, coloring books. And I actually ended up with five because um, halfway through the month I decided what I needed was uh, a book that just kind of like had some basic patterns in it to use as my testing book. Uh, and I did that by starting a page. I got my lettering I got my lettering box last month and it had, it had a whole bunch of different items in it. So I tried them out by uh, doing this page here. They, they were all watercolors uh, and gel pens and paint pens. So I put those all together into this picture right here. Um, I really enjoyed the... Uh, I really enjoyed using the uh, products in here. Um, the, I'm not considering this page finished though because I want to uh, go over with a fine liner over the lines because uh, some of the colors are very um, saturated and covered up the lines. So that's all I've done in that book. And that is Mid-Century Modern Patterns by Jen Sky or Ski. Jen Ski. It's from the Just Add Color series, which I have several of. Okay, so this was my intricate uh, little teeny weeny uh, coloring book. And I did two pages from this. This is a, um, actually, just let me get my pages out. This is a uh, block of pages and you just uh, tear them out and uh, color whatever you want. So far I've been going in order. Uh, this one I used uh, gel pens for and this one I used ballpoint pens. I really like this one actually. Uh, it was fun. It was fun coloring with ballpoint pens. I have to say I uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. So that's what I did of that book. Now this was my uh, fairly simple, easy uh, coloring book. And this one I'm just going in order because they're, the pictures are so like similar. It's just an animal and a fa fancy, like a bust of an animal and fancy. Some of them are heavily doodled and some of them have a lot of big spaces. You'll see just from the first ones that I did in this. So, started off with the owl and I have no idea what I used for this. It's uh, not very good pencils, whatever I did with that. But uh, that was at the beginning of the month and I kind of, at the beginning of the book they have maybe about five or six things colored in to just show you, give you an idea. And I kind of followed the colors, but I didn't. Kind of did them in a different order. Okay, then this is the guy who's on the front. And I used kind of the same color scheme, but I didn't look at the front when I was doing it. Um, this one, I used Sharpies. I used Sharpies for this. I really enjoy coloring with Sharpies. And then this one, I used, I used Sharpies for this one too as well. See, this is one of the ones that's more simple. And a big block of, uh, oh, feels as if it could even be. No, I, I was going to say maybe I used watercolor, but I didn't. That's all Sharpie. So, yeah. 
and then this one right here is a work in progress and I'm using ink tents uh, pencil crayons for this one I am just coloring it in with them uh, first I thought I would just use the pen pencils as coloring pencils but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go when I'm finished this I'm gonna go through and with a paintbrush and uh, turn it into a watercolor Okay, and then the next book was uh, Joe, hmm, Joe, Joe Benitez's Lady Mechanica Steampunk Coloring Book for Ladies and Gentlemen of All Ages. I read the Lady Mechanica comic books, and uh, so when I saw that this existed, I just had to get it. And I did this one. I used pencil crayons and then for the outside and in here I used uh, chameleons, chameleon markers. Oh, the gold is with a gel pen too. Then uh, there's this one. Part of me thinks I wrecked it when I did the watercolor wash on the, on the back and part of me thinks, oh, it looks all right. But, you know, the uh, picture is done in watercolor with, well not watercolor, but with ink tents. Uh, I mean they're basically like watercolors except that you're actually laying down ink and, uh, and, and it's kind of permanent. They claim to be permanent, but they're like almost permanent, not 100% permanent. Uh, you can go back in there and lift up a little bit more color and work with it, but n not a lot. So yeah, I used those for everything except for the background, which I just used uh, a watercolor pod for to do. And then the last one is just a silly little thing. I, I picked up this uh, little book of uh, velvet posters. It's the Fashion Angels Velvet Poster Collection. And uh, I just sat down one night and felt like I was a little girl all over again coloring in my velvet poster picture and I used, uh, used markers for this I don't think they're Sharpies they could be I don't know if I have that color in Sharpie though yeah actually I think it is Sharpies because I did buy just a new a new uh, pack of five I think Sharpies that had some limited edition colors in it okay so yeah that's my last one so those are the uh, four books Fashion Angels Velvet Posters Lady Mechanica Dapper Animals uh, Vive La Color Africa those are the four books that I picked to color in this month and then this book we will see over and over again as I uh, use it to try out uh, new, as I as I use it to try out new uh, products that I get and stuff. And actually, I have right here um, some that I got from that I got from uh, Amazon from a third-party seller, and these are Sakura Decorees uh, markers and. Uh, I have set A, which is sweet colors, and I have set, that would be this one, which is sweet colors, and then I have set B, which is spice colors. I have, there's two more in the series, and I have those coming as well. So, uh, I will do a page using those so I can try them out. Okay, so thank you for joining me, and I will join you at the at the uh, beginning of November to show you the coloring I did in October. It's all going to be scary stuff. So uh, I hope you'll come back to join me. Thank you very much and if you liked this kind of video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, talk to me in the comments. I'd love to have a chat. Bye!